While I am walking to um, this Mont Blue Casino, which I know nothing about, um, hopefully it's open and I'm not wasting my time. Hey everybody, it's Corey from Cruise Reviews. Thanks for watching today. We are in Lake Tahoe today and we are going to be talking about casinos. Specifically, I'm going to take you on a tour of all four major casinos in the South Lake Tahoe area and I'm going to tell you which ones I would visit again and which ones I will never go back to. So let's get started. So let me start by giving you the too long didn't watch version. The two casinos you want to go to are Harrah's and the Hard Rock. The Hard Rock is gonna be smaller, uh, but the nicest casino, Harrah's has the best gambling atmosphere. So depending on what you're looking for and to get out of the day or the night, um, you either wanna to go to Harrah's or the Hard Rock. Now, if you just wanna take my word for it, you don't have to watch any more of this video, give me a thumbs up for the helpful information and you can move on. But if you want to keep watching, I'll show you what all these look like and I'll tell you why you wanna to go to those two and not the the other two okay so first up let's talk about the hard rock the hard rock is a pretty small casino but it's probably the most recently updated so far it's the nicest i've been to and i've been to harris and this one but the casino floor is actually really small the good news of that is that on a friday night i'm here on a friday morning but on a friday night it's going to feel like a lot of energy because it won't take a bunch of people to make this place feel full um, i will take a look around and kind of see what what the minimums are as best as I can. No table games are open at this time in the morning. It's like 8.30 and there's not a single table game open here. So I have a feeling that this is more of a like lunch and after kind of place. And, uh, but you know, I'm sitting at a uh, video poker uh, uh, console right now. So I'm gonna play for a few minutes and then I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so um, they do have a wide variety of slots here at the Hard Rock. Uh, anything from one penny, like the penny slots, all the way up to uh, like, you know, high limit slots. They have a really good variety of like old school games and like new school games as well. Uh, so if you're a big slots player, the Hard Rock is probably a great place for you. Okay, so here I am. I am outside of the Hard Rock Casino. You can see it right behind me, the Hard Rock. Um, and just to kind of give you an idea of what this is like here in Tahoe, all four major casinos are right next to each other. So here's the Hard Rock. If I turn this way right behind me, that is Harry's. Uh, and then if I keep turning, that is Harrah's. <laughs> and then if I keep turning, uh, it's behind these trees, that's the that big building behind me is the Mont Blue. Uh, so I'm gonna, about to try to go to all four. Uh, and I said Harry's, I meant Harvey's, excuse me. So I'm about to try to go to all four. I just finished up at the Hard Rock, lost like 10 bucks, but that's okay. It was completely dead. Nobody giving drinks, nobody doing anything like that. But that's what I expected. It's like 9 a.m. So you can't expect too much from a casino at 9 a.m. So on to our next location. I think I'm going to do, uh, I'll do Harvey's next. So while I'm walking over here to Harvey's, I have had the opportunity to ask a couple locals um, what their favorite uh, gambling casino is. And they say for gambling, their favorite is usually Harrah's. I have a suspicion that Harrah's is probably the largest in terms of the, uh, the casino itself, the casino floor. I've been in Harrah's once already on this trip and it was definitely probably twice the size, if memory serves, about twice the size as the Hard Rock, although the Hard Rock was very nice, um, but I think it was about twice the size. So here is uh, Harvey's coming up. I've only been walking for about 30 seconds. So it's a really fast walk. Everything is literally across the street from each other. Uh, so there's no reason that you only have to go to one, but the purpose of this video is for you to figure out which one is the best. If you only have a little bit of time, if you got an hour or two to spend uh, at the table, which one is the one that you should go to? So here we are at Harvey's coming up. And uh, yeah, let's check it out.
Yeah, so they do have a poker room. Here it is. So that's kind of cool. If you're if you're a big poker player, that might be a nice nice touch. Obviously, around 9 a.m., it's still kind of dead in here, uh, but that's to be expected. But they do have a poker room. So not all table games are gone. It looks like just they left poker and they got rid of everything else. I don't even see like electronic. Um, uh, what's it called? Like electronic. Um, Poker, no, I see uh, video poker, but I actually don't see anything like electronic uh, roulette or electronic craps or anything like that that you would usually see, or electronic blackjack. So yeah. Yeah, so you know what I just said? I'm still in Harvey's. Disregard what I just said. <laughs> I told you that they didn't have table games, but I finally found them. They were just uh, the opposite direction of the way I walked in. Uh, so they do have table games. Here they are behind me. Um, and a pretty good size floor of them, actually. So. Uh, just like the last place, uh, the Hard Rock, they are not running table games right now, uh, but they definitely have them, uh, which is good. And uh, yeah, it looks like a, a pretty good amount of different types of games. So uh, disregard what I just said. <laughs> also here are the video blackjack, video craps, video roulette, all of those as well. Uh, so they do have those as well. Oh, and this is really cool and unique. They have a Hell's Kitchen, like from uh, from like Gordon Ramsay, that kind of thing. So they've got a Hell's Kitchen in here as well. So actually Harvey's, it, it's growing on me a little bit. I don't mind it so much. Uh, these minimums are pretty standard, not super low. That's a $5 minimum. Uh, looking at the table games, even though there's nobody at them, some of the table games do have the minimums listed. Uh, we can see some are pretty high limit, like $50, but some are down in the $15 range. So that's probably what you're gonna get here, uh, is about a $15 minimum, uh, at least during the day. I'm gonna bet on the weekend, it's gonna be a little bit higher than that. So what an other cool feature about this place, because it is uh, a sister casino with Harrah's, they actually have a tunnel that takes you underground uh, to get there. So I'm gonna go take the tunnel uh, down to, uh, to Harrah's, which is where we're gonna hit next. And as you can see, very bright and sunny day today. So here we go down into the tunnel. One other thing that I noticed just, just walking around, they keep the music the same between here and Harris, which is kind of cool. Hey, how are you? Uh, so not even a change in music uh, between here and Harvey's. And just like that, we are in Harris. And I've been in Harris before. I think Harris is probably the biggest and best bet, at least so far. I haven't been to Mont Blue yet, but we can see already, here's Harris. And way bigger, much more like traditional Vegas feeling. Um, in a lot of ways, it feels like downtown Las Vegas, so like very old school, still kind of low ceilings, but pretty old school. And as you can see, they still have table games running right now. So this is the first hotel I've been to today with people at the actual tables. And I know uh, they, they do um, music in here. I was actually here on Tuesday night. They do a blues band uh, in here on Tuesday nights. It's not really bluesy. It's more of like greatest hits, but a look with a blues kind of vibe to it. Uh, so pretty cool. And uh, definitely the most happening place at night that I've been to uh, so far here in Vegas. As you can see, they do have a ton of different games. Um, this, is, this is probably gonna be your, your primary casino if you are looking to gamble. So let's take a walk around and I'll, I'll tell you what I think. So here is your sports book <laughs> for, for Harrah's. Uh, so each hotel, each casino definitely has its strength. This is your whole sports book. It's nothing more than that. Like not even a bunch of TVs, uh, just a pretty small little area with a bar. But that's your whole sports book here at Harrah's. So if you are looking to get in some bets, unless you're just wanting to place your bet and leave, and come back later, this is, uh, you, you're probably better off going to Harvey's and not Harris. Yeah, so walking around, uh, the locals did not lead me astray. Harvey's is um, okay, and Hard Rock is pretty small. Uh, Harris is definitely the place 
that you're going to want to gamble if you're going to be here uh, and you want like a, a legitimate like Las Vegas feeling casino. Some people don't care about that. Some people don't want these huge uh, casino floors. Some people want a much smaller casino floor and that's okay too. Um, just to understand what you're getting. If you are looking for the biggest casino uh, in terms of just overall size, number of games, a proper high limit salon if you're into high limit gaming, um, then Harrah's is going to be your best bet from what I've seen so far. So I just finished up at Harrah's. Uh, let me give you my general thoughts. So Harrah's is definitely the best casino I've been to uh, in Tahoe so far in terms of like it's got table games going probably 24 7 they have free drinks if you're sitting at a table uh, so you are getting um, like Vegas style casino play uh, at Harrah's in like Tahoe now what you are not going to get is a cheap day uh, even at 9 30 in the morning on a Friday morning uh, the minimums at the tables were about $25. And I was here on Tuesday night and they were $25 too. Um, now they do have some $15 games, like they have $15 craps, uh, they've got some $15 uh, games that are not as good of odds. But if you wanna play blackjack or if you wanna play um, if you want to play like uh, Baccarat or something like that, then you are going to be spending about $25 a hand. So it is not an inexpensive place to play, but it's, it's in line with what you would expect at most Las Vegas casinos. Uh, now, as far as your video poker, uh, as far as all of your other things like uh, video roulette, uh, video blackjack, those are all like $5 minimums. So you can bet for cheaper, uh, but the drink people are not gonna come around to you as often as they will uh, the more profitable games for the casino, but that's okay. So overall, really like this one. If you are looking for a sports book, just go right across the room to Harvey's. If you're looking for poker, go across the way to Harvey's. But if you are looking for the more traditional table games that most people think of when they think of Vegas casinos, then come to Harris. So while I am walking to um, this Mont Bleu Casino, which I know nothing about, um, hopefully it's open and I'm not wasting my time. But while I'm walking, I just wanted to show you that I saw this sign. It's called the, the Highler, High, uh, Highlander Bar, and it's on the 18th floor of Harrah's. I also was told by a guy at Edgewood, uh, one of the drivers that drives you around, the shuttle drivers, um, that Harvey's has like an 18th or a 20th floor restaurant as well with incredible views of Lake Tahoe. And he, he was like, this is the place to go if you are looking for like a sunset dinner. Um, other than Edgewood itself, uh, which has a beautiful uh, vista of the lake. So I say all that to say, um, just while I'm walking, I'm almost back over here to the other casino. Uh, just keep that in mind that both Harrah's and in particular Harvey's is probably got the best uh, view if you are looking for a nice uh, dinner uh, over watching, like overlooking Lake Tahoe for the sunset. Okay, so here I am. I am at Mont Bleu. It's the last of the four casinos that I'm visiting today. And off the bat, the entrance looks really cool. And then you walk inside and it's very disjointed and it feels kind of empty. Um, so we'll see how the rest of it feels. The, the best thing I've seen about this place so far is definitely the sports book. But to be honest, why would you come to this sports book when you could go to the one at Harvey's and be a little bit closer and more convenient to the main casino. So let's check out the rest of the casino before I make a final judgment. There might be some redeeming features about this place that I don't know about yet. So here is the entrance to the casino. You can see it's just kind of all over the place. Uh, it's kind of barren and sparse. I'm just not sure really what they're trying to do with it. And here's the sports book as soon as you walk in. Let's go take a look around. Oh yeah, so blackjack here. I just got done playing blackjack, same exact kind of machine. And it was uh, it was $5 minimums. Here, 
it's a five dollar max bet one dollar minimum so much lower cost uh in terms of of these electronic games let's see if that's also true here uh one dollar minimums so again very very affordable and let's look at roulette and roulette are let's say one dollar minimum bets so yeah it's going to be much more affordable here uh if you are looking to gamble for cheap so so far this actually seems like the younger uh person's place to be uh, especially if you're looking for cheap games now we'll see uh what the rest of the tables are um, there just aren't any tables open right now, but it looks like they're getting ready to open some. So maybe if we can, uh, if we can get a sense of what the minimums are at the tables, that'll give you an idea if you'd like to spend time here. Okay, so wrapping up here at Mont Blue, it is a smaller casino. It's a lot like Hard Rock in that respect, it's smaller. I actually prefer the Hard Rock layout better because this casino seems to have uh, a little too much space in between everything. So there's not a lot of table games and things like that, just like at Hard Rock, but because it's spaced out a little bit more, it actually feels more sparse, uh, which isn't a feeling that you really want in a casino. You want to feel the energy, you want to feel the crowd, you want to feel the vibe, especially around the table games. Uh, so this is not my favorite. I would say it's nicer than Harvey's, but it is uh, probably not a place I would just come for the casino. Now, that said, this place, similar to the Hard Rock, seems like it's appealing to more of a younger crowd and it's also appealing to people who are a little more party minded right if you're here to like drink and have fun and maybe go to the nightclub or like check out the bar this might be a great place for you um, but it's just hard to say without being here later in the day i just was able to take a look around at the minimums they actually had the minimums posted on most of the table games here at mont blue and it is kind of in between it's not super affordable. Like they have a lot of $25 minimum games, but like they have a $15 blackjack minimum. They have a $15 craps minimum, uh, but they also have 20 and $25 minimums. Uh, Baccarat, which is one of my favorite games, is a $25 minimum here. That's pretty standard uh, just because of the odds. It's very good odds, so they, they charge you a little more to play it. Um, but bottom line is it's not the most expensive. It's cheaper overall than Harrah's but I don't know what the drink service is like here. I've been to Harrah's at night and the drink people come around like every 15 minutes. Uh, so you are getting a lot of bang for your buck for spending that $25. Here, I don't know that yet because there's just nobody here, uh, but it does look like the minimums are more affordable if you're looking for a place to go that maybe is uh, you know off the beaten path just a little bit. Okay, so my final analysis, my two favorite um, of these hotels or of these casinos has to be uh, Harrah's and the Hard Rock. So the Hard Rock is the coolest of the hotels. Like it's got a lot going on. The energy is really good even in the mornings, uh, especially after the um, tables open up. The part that I like the most about it is just the overall environment. However, Harrah's is the best hotel to gamble at. Uh, it's got the most games. It's got the uh, widest variety and it also um, has them open all hours of the day and it's got the biggest crowd um, what I don't love about Harris is I don't love that they don't really have a sports book so if sports betting is your thing you've got to go across the street um, whereas the Hard Rock really does have everything it's got sports betting it's got the pretty cheap uh, casino games if you're on a budget and then it's got the table games as well so overall I would say Probably my favorite pound for pound has got to be the Hard Rock, but if you're just uh, looking to gamble and know that you can consistently gamble at a table, uh, then the Harrah's is probably your best bet. So there you have it, guys. If you enjoyed the review, leave me a thumbs up. If you really enjoyed the review, consider subscribing to the channel. I will catch you guys next time. See ya.